How you doing guys? So today we're going to be talking brake rotors. I'm going to be replacing the rotors on my 08 Civic. Several months back I, um, I needed to change out the pads so I went ahead and replaced the rotors too. The stock ones that were slightly warped so um, I went ahead and put some slotted ones on there because uh, I had good success with them in the past. But the, the reason I'm changing them out is because I've noticed a, uh, a whole lot more uh, brake dust uh, versus when I just had the regular rotors on there and that's using the same pad uh, for comparison so um, being that I got white wheels and I don't really like to wash the car a lot I would like to <laughs> I want to reduce a lot of that dust uh, so um, we'll go through and change those out and uh, kind of talk about some of the differences in you know factory blank disc uh, versus a slotted like I used and um, also drilled so uh, we're going to go talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of all of those and uh, where they would be best suited for use at. So the first thing let's do is let's actually get the old ones off and then we'll compare them uh, with one of the new ones. So this is the car. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So obviously you can see the crazy amount of brake dust here and this is from not even much driving. I rarely drive this car. You can see the uh, Maybe you can see the rotors here. So obviously the first step, we're going to go ahead and get it jacked up, get it on jack stands and pull the wheels off. Okay, so we got the wheels off, and let's go ahead and see what we got to do to get these rotors off. Typically, you'll have um, typically you'll have a few counter scrunk counter sunk screws right here that actually uh, will hold the uh, rotor to the hub. Um, and on these Hondas, it's such a usually a pain to get them off, and you end up stripping them a lot of times. So usually, I won't even put them back in because once you bolt the wheel up, the rotor's not going to go anywhere. So also. So pretty much the only thing we gotta do is just unbolt the caliper and bracket. We'll hang it up out of the way. Slide these off, slide the new ones on. Go ahead and clean everything up while we got it off. And since these calipers are looking so raggedy, I think I might go ahead and uh, put some black uh, paint on these while we got them off. So what I like to do is go ahead and uh, instead of compressing the piston once I get the and I won't have to compress it much anyway because uh, being that we're not putting on new uh, thicker um, pads I wouldn't want a regular pad change so I'm still going to compress these a little bit just to make it easier to get them on and off um, instead of doing it while I got it off I'd like to go ahead and do it while I got it on stick a pry bar here in, the, uh, in this hole kind of pull it on like that and you probably can't tell but of the uh, caliper there. I'm going to take the caliper off first and then the bracket because I want to be able to take these pads out so when I paint these I don't get paint all on the pads in the hardware. Alright so we got the caliper off so now the only thing left to do is uh, remove the two Caliper bracket bolts, probably 17. Uh, remove those, be able to pull this bracket off, and be able to put the uh, rotors on. Like I said, while we got it apart, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and paint these rotors and caliper. I meant uh, the bracket and caliper. As you can see here, pretty much identical rotors in diameter, thickness, and everything. The only difference is going to be these slots. Whereas this one has none. Also, once we put this on here, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, before and after we put it on, we're going to go ahead and give it a good coat of uh, uh, brake cleaner just to kind of clean off some of this uh, 
they come with like a rust preventative coating on them and uh, we don't want that to contaminate our pads so we're going to go ahead and clean that off and get them put on and then uh, go ahead and try to start cleaning up these calipers so let's talk about different kinds of rotors so obviously a blank a uh, non slider drilled uh, blank is going to be typically what you see on a factory application so some of the advantages of a slotted is under hard braking um, gas can actually build up between the pad and the rotor surface uh, causing decreased uh, brake performance and brake fade and all that type of stuff so the slotted uh, actually gives the uh, gas a place between the pad and the rotor to escape kind of helping to alleviate some of that issue also uh, a really good thing about the uh, what I like about the slotted ones is it actually kind of does the uh, grooves in the rotor actually kind of cuts or keep the uh, glaze cut off the pad so in turn you get more brake dust and um, that's something I want to decrease on this car so I'm going to be swap swapping back to a factory style rotor so also you also uh, on some applications you'll see people using drilled rotors or cross drilled or whatever you want to call it and actually it's looks like a factory blank with a series of holes in it I guess the purpose of that is uh, generally going to be about the same as a slotted just kind of helps the uh, some of the gases escape um, maybe a little better cooling aspects as well uh, the problem with when why I would never use a drill rotor for any application is that they are subject to cracking um, at the uh, the drilled holes um, and I've even seen that in you know high-end rotors like Brembo's uh, so I would definitely stay away from drill and I would definitely stay away from cheap uh, Chinese uh, eBay um, drill rotors. Uh, I see a lot of people run slotted and drill off-brand rotors and I cannot stress enough that I would not put those on anything just for the safety concerns. Um, so if you do have those that's something to think about. So for a street car just use blanks. Um, if you're really doing a lot of performance type stuff you know uh, slotted but maybe a little upgrade but I would definitely stay away from drill as much as possible. Let's go ahead and uh, get this cleaned up. Not really going for perfection here, just trying to knock off some of this loose rust and brake dust and all that. So, go ahead and clean these up and we'll be ready to put up, get some paint put on them. Alright, so I just cleaned up the caliper a little bit, just wait on that to dry. Uh, clean the bracket up. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up this wheel over here. So, that when we get everything ready, we'll be good to go back on. Pretty clean, I go back and uh, get a few spots, but uh, not bad. Alright, so update. Got the wheels cleaned up. Calipers painted. Just matched everything up so I didn't get over spray. I can't stand when I see people paint something on the vehicle and there's just paint everywhere. So take a little bit of extra time and you know, put some paper back there and uh, make a big difference in the long run. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these rotors on, uh, put the brakes on, get everything lubed up, uh, all the slides and everything, 
and uh, get it put back together. So all I like to do is go ahead and um, put just a little bit of lube right here on these pieces, um, as well as uh, definitely put a lot of lube on these slides. Don't want any metal on metal contact, and you don't want the uh, slides bound up. That's gonna not allow the caliper to release properly. Then you can get uh, uneven wear on your pads. So let's go ahead and put just a little bit. You ain't gotta get too crazy with it, but just a little bit of this here. 